All right, well, I thought I'd do a, a little bit of a, uh, something different today. Um, uh, got to do an oil change on my uh, 2016 uh, Dodge Charger, and uh, it's kind of a pain uh, to drop the oil on this thing. It's got a plastic uh, lower panel, called a skid plate, but it's made out of plastic, so wouldn't really call it that, but um, uh, it's just a pain in the ass, so I figured I'd give this... Um, oil extractor or a fluid extractor from Harbor Freight to try. Now uh, it's $89.99. I used the 20% off coupon. That brought it down to $72. So I uh, figure I'll do a review on it. We'll give you a first hand look uh, how it works or does not work. Um, so um, all right, stay tuned. All right, so I took the dipstick out. I put the uh, I put the small hose in, goes into this adapter, into here, and uh, now it says to give this about uh, seven pumps up and down all the way. We'll give it one extra there. I should have timed this here. It's, it's, it's about 10, maybe 10 seconds or so, so far. This says maintain some pumps as needed. So I got, uh, I got about 10.09. 1.09. In the safety uh, part of that instruction book, it said to chock the wheels and disconnect the battery. I'm living dangerously and I didn't do neither one of those. Don't tell the safety police that. It's been about three minutes so far. Now this car holds seven quarts of oil. Uh, don't know what seven quarts looks like on this, so we'll see.
like I might be getting near the bottom here. Get a little cavitation action here. in the uh, vacuum action here. Still getting a little bit more oil. And it's about right now. It's one just turned 115, so about six minutes. Now it would take me more than six minutes to get the jack out and get under there, uh, put the jack stands under there. So definitely a time saver, without a doubt. That's it. So, uh, yeah, about uh, five to seven minutes uh, to drain uh, seven quarts of oil. So, uh, so far I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so it's been um, it's been less than uh, 20 minutes um, since the whole start of everything. I put the oil back in. I changed the filter. And um, now I'm going to empty this out, and we'll see how this goes. So, um, it's got a little spout here. Yeah, let's get a funnel. So far, my first impressions are very favorable. Vent here. I'm going to hold that down. Maybe it'll prevent it from gurgling a bit. Yeah, definitely did. No. Now during the video, I think I said it takes seven quarts. I double checked. This takes six quarts. Uh, my old Hemi on my Durango took seven.
I put six quarts back in and um, it came right up to where it was supposed to, so I'm pretty confident I got most of the oil out. All right, so everything's all cleaned up. Very impressed. Um, less than an hour from start to finish completely, um, which I'm real happy. And that's with putting everything away, uh, talking to my neighbor a little bit. And um, so only thing I say is this hose, putting this away, is a little unruly. There's no way this is going to stay in this thing. Um, just wants to pop right out of here. So... Um, I don't know, I'm gonna figure something out. And this, these rubber uh, stoppers, or whatever you wanna call them, I don't know how long that's gonna last with the uh, reaction with the oil. Um, so that that time will tell whether or not uh, this is gonna hold up. Um, but um, that's something we could always make uh, something else. I tried to clean them up as much as I can, but every time you put them back they get more oil on them um, so that that may be an issue um, so we'll have to revisit that in all the time um, this main hose is 60 inches long with an outside diameter of 400 thousands all right and as you can see this, this is unruly there's no easy way to store this stuff uh, then the smaller hose, which connects to that, that goes into the dipstick tube down into the crankcase. Um, this is um, just under a quarter inch. It's 240 thousandths OD, and it's um, it's about 42, 43 inches long. Um, as you can see from the heat of the engine, it took a little bit of an oddball set. Um, in the future, I may um, I may do something with maybe a piece of um, copper tubing, that that might be the way to go with that. Um, let me give you this uh, silicone uh, hose to bleed brakes. This is supposed to slip over the um, bleeder screw. Uh, how well that works, I don't know. I usually just do it the old fashioned way, put two people in the, one guy pumping the brake pedal. But um, that's about 45 inches long. And that's about it. Um, so overall, I'm very happy with it. Um, time will tell how well it holds up. Like I say, I have a feeling that these rubber uh, fit, uh, fittings, uh, adapters, whatever you want to call them, for lack of a better term, I think that's going to be a problem. Um, uh, rubber and uh, petroleum products uh, do not seem to uh, hold up well. Uh, so, um, all right. Well, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching.